about making this movie that appealed to you? I read that you always wanted to be a Disney princess. I did. I do. I still will. Ooh, even if I play the old hag someday. Um, I think that I just thought the script was really well written and it had a lot of themes that resonated with me and I think that resonate today in the world. It's all, it's all about acceptance and not judging, I guess. And I think that can be applied to so many aspects of our, our lives today. And I, I just I thought it was a fun adventure story, so if it can it can be a little bit of both. How did you find the process of recording your voice? Um it was it was a lot of fun. It was um, a little bit strange to be in a recording booth with no one else, because I'm used to doing narration and um, having to converse with someone that's not there is a little bit frustrating, but we had a great director, David Bowers, keeping us on track. But it, what the hardest thing I think was doing the um, all the action sequences, because you're pretty much standing in a room by yourself, karate chopping the walls, trying to go hua, 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 hua. Is it great not to have to wear any makeup and go in and you It's fantastic. It's the best. I, I go in my pajamas. Her name is Cora. She's uh, a runaway, kind of a ragamuffin, and she's um, very opinionated, very outspoken, uh, very sassy, but has a, a, a soft interior. And what's her relationship? Um, they become friends. They uh, they sort of get to know each other, and then she eventually feels very, very betrayed when she finds out he's a robot. And um, the sort of third act of the story is about them finding each other again. The spin. Yes.